Hello everyone, my name is Yuta Suzuki. I am very happy to be able to talk to you today. Today, I'd like to talk about the transfer learning algorithm for object detection. My presentation has seven parts. First, introduction. Second, related to works. Third, proposed method. Fourth, experiments. Fifth, results. After that, conclusion. And finally, future work. First, I'd like to start by talking about introduction. Here's introduction. In recent years, the development of deep learning technology has been remarkable. In line with this, deep learning has been applied to various image recognition tasks as well. For example, classification, object detection, and segmentation. Now, I'd like to show you the three image recognition tasks. Here, you can see about classification. Classification is a task of identifying an object in an image, like this. Next, here you can see about object detection. Object detection is a task to identify objects in an image and project their rectangular positions, like this. Finally, here you can see about segmentation. Segmentation is a task of identifying objects in an image in pixels, like this. Also, there are tasks like these. In the next slide, I'll, I'll introduce ImageNet, which is a typical classification dataset. ImageNet is a very large dataset for image classification. And the model trained on ImageNet is open to the public, and anyone can use it. Therefore, the model trained by ImageNet is often useful for transfer learning to another task. Here, I'll talk about Coco. Coco is a large dataset for object detection and segmentation. Coco has over 30,000 images and has 80 object categories and has 91 staff categories. The model trained on Coco is open to the public and anyone can use it. Therefore, the model trained by Coco is often used for transfer learning to another task. Here, we have explanation of transfer learning. Transfer learning is a method of applying a model learned in one task to another task. Transfer learning makes it possible to create high-performance models even when there is little training data because it uses pre-trained models on large datasets. Here, you can see fine-tuning, one of the transfer learning techniques. Fine-tuning is a transfer learning technique commonly used in CNNs for image classification tasks. In fine-tuning, it is believed that the lower layer of CNN are learning general features and frees the training in this area. As a result, fine tuning works for the classification tasks, but not such much for the segmentation task. Here I talk about problems in transfer learning for object detection. Like this table, when deciding or pre-training dataset, ImageNet is better in terms of dataset, data size. 
but Coco is better suited for object detection task as a task. Now, here's the problem. Should we use ImageNet or COCO as a pre-training task? Here, I talk about problem in transfer learning for object detection using ImageNet. In classification, only local features to be learned. In contrast, in object detection, we need to learn both local features and location information. So, when ImageNet is used for transfer learning to object detection as a pre-trained task, we need to learn to bridge this difference. Second, I'd like to start by talking about related works. Here, I'll talk about FastRCNN. FastRCNN is a representative model for object detection. In this part, FastRCNN learns local features. And this part, FastRCNN learns location information by region proposal. Here, I'll talk about transfer learning algorithm for UNET. UNET is a model for segmentation. This algorithm visualizes the learning features difference between ImageNet and segmentation task by calculating the cosine similarity between the epoch parameters. And freeze training in areas with similar learning features. So, apply fine tuning to model with unit structure. Third, I'd like to start by talking about proposed method. Here, I'll talk about proposed method. Our proposed method is that applying the transport learning algorithm used to for image segmentation to object detection. And obtain indicators for selection of pre-trained tasks and determination of the freeze layer in object detection. Here I'll talk about transfer learning algorithm for object detection. This is the algorithm. This algorithm visualizes the learning features difference between pre-trained task and objective task by calculating cosine similarity and obtain indicators for selection of pre-learning tasks and determination of the free layer in object detection. First, I'd like to start by talking about experiments. Here, I talk about experiments dataset. The used dataset is global weight detection. It is a task to detect the weight like this. And it has 3422 training data. And it has 10 test data. Here I talk about experiment model. The model used was Fastal CNN with a ResNet 50 consisting of 48 convolutional layer and we applied transfer learning using ImageNet and Coco 2017 to this part. With us, I'd like to start by talking about result. Here, I'll talk about the result of the training features difference between pre-training task and objective task. 
this figure is the result of calculating the difference between the pre-training task and the objective task in each layer by the procedure of proposed algorithm. The horizontal axis is the index of the completion layer of ResNet 50 from the input side. The vertical axis is the difference between tasks calculated using cosine similarity. <coughs> the orange line represents the difference between the parameters pre-trained by COCO 2017 and those trained by Global Weight Detection. The blue line represents the difference between the pre-trained parameters in ImageNet and those trained by Global Weight Detection. This figure shows that the difference between the parameters between COCO 2017 and Global Weight Detection is relatively large from around the 20th layer to the output layer. On the contrary, the difference between the parameters between ImageNet and Global Weight Detection is relatively small from around the 20th layer to the output layer. Here, I talk about results of fine tuning. This figure is the result of applying fine tuning to the ResNet 50 part of faster CNN. The horizontal axis is the number of layers where the parameter update is prohibited from the input side. And the fine tuning is applied in increments of five layers. The vertical axis is the map, it is mean average position, which is an index to compare the accuracy of the object detection. The orange line is the result of pre-trained by COCO 2017 and applying fine-tuning. The blue line is the result of pre-training by ImageNet and applying fine-tuning. This figure shows that the model pre-trained by ImageNet has higher map in all <coughs> in all cases, except for the case where the upload of 10 layer parameters is prohibited. Therefore, we can say that the model pre trained by ImageNet is more suitable for pre training of global weight detection. From the result, from the, this result, we can also read the relationship between the number of layers where parameter update are prohibited and the map at the time. There was no significant difference between ImageNet and COCO 2017 when parameter update were prohibited for 10 to 15 layers, but when parameter updates were prohibited for more layers, the model pre-trained by ImageNet recorded a higher map. From these results, we can see that it is more effective to adopt a model with small difference as pre-trained model. It can also be seen that prohibiting the update of the weights of the layer with large differences reduces the performance. As six, I'd like to start by talking about conclusion. Here's conclusion. The algorithm for calculating difference between tasks, which was applied to the segmentation task, was applied to the object detection task. As a result, we are able to calculate the differences between tasks in the object detection task and it could help in the selection of pre-trained model and the decision of which layer to profit parameter plot. Finally, I'd like to start by talking about future work. 
Here, I talk about future work. In this study, we are able to calculate the difference between tasks in the object detection task, and it could help in the selection of pre-trained model and the decision on which layer to prohibit parameter updates. But this part seems to be not practical. So, in future work, propose an algorithm that can determine pre-training model and freeze layers. That concludes the presentation. Thank you very much for your attention.